What's up, guys? We're back here. And we're back into some Slay the Spire. So, the new character, The Watcher, has just came out in the beta branch uh, in the last couple days. Uh, so, I wanted to jump in and play it. So, I had to go through. We didn't have a beta branch save. So, I went through. I grinded it out. We're going to be jumping in. I've not played this character at all. Uh, and I still have some unlocks for the other characters. Uh, as you can see, I got three unlocks there, four unlocks, and four. Uh, I literally played just enough to get to her. I think I've, I, I'm missing a win with the Ironclad to round out a win for each one. But I wanted to jump in. So the Watcher's a little different. I've seen a little bit on her. Not a ton, but enough to get me going. All right, we're going to go up this path, I think. Hit this elite. Like, pretty good amount of rest. My, my hope was we could... We might be able to take out that elite with this one. It also gives us some easy combats to get some cards. So let's go through her set. Uh, four strikes, four defends. She has eruption, which makes you in, uh, deals nine damage and ensures wrath. While you're in wrath, you deal double damage and take double damage. So, and then you have vigilance, which is a two mana or two energy for a uh, eight block and you enter calm. And then when you exit calm, uh, you gain two energy back. So it's a little bit of refund on your money if you can get it in now. Uh, her starting re relic is pure water. Uh, at the start of each combat, add a miracle to your hand. And a miracle is a retain. Gain one energy, exhaust for zero. So, everything you need to know? Good. So what I've noticed about the Watcher is I feel like her card sits a little higher off. Her starting deck is higher for energy. So, uh... Energy can be a problem if you run your, you know, a deck in a certain way. Um, a smite to your hand, 12 damage, exhaust. Into wrath, you cannot exit wrath for the remainder of the turn. Okay, see, I don't like that. We'll do this one and get a little extra damage. It's pretty much like a, uh, a two drop 16 damage card. And I wanted to see, yeah, it does an upgrade smite, which is two for 21, which isn't bad. So we're hoping to not hit any more fights through these question marks. It's kind of a, a tall order, but we'll see. Let's remove a strike. I don't think damage will be a problem. Uh, we'll take doubt. And, oh cool, we, we got through it all. Um, we'll take, I like the stance potion. Uh, new potion. So intercom or wrath. And I don't think we'll take the flex potion currently. I think I like the set here. So we actually will cheat out one elite. That's not cheating out. We will successfully kill an elite. Um, windmill strike. So daily damage when this card is retained. Increase it by two. Sands of time. Retain. Deal 20 damage. Whenever this card is retained. Lord's cost by one. Starts at four. I like that a lot. And then retain. Uh, into Wrath Exhaust. I think we're going to go with Sands of Time. Another, like, high damage card. So we can hit this. We might skip... I, would, I don't want to really skip this one. I think we'll take on that Elite here. Just so we can, uh... Lagavulin dead. Toy, Orn Toy Ornithopter. Whenever you use a potion, heal 5 HP. Uh, I think we will take the Regen over the vulnerability. Could be pretty good. Um, conclude, deal 10 damage to all enemies. Uh, that's pretty good because, oh, end your turn now. I didn't read that. Hmm. So you have to make sure to use that at the end of your turn. Wrath, gain seven additional block. I think we'll take Halt. While you're, since you're, you're in Wrath, you take more damage. So it also makes sense to have something that uh, assist in that process and I think I want to make Sands of Time stronger because this is gonna be one of our big damage dealers War Paint upon pickup upgrade two random skills Defend and Halt awesome all right let's see how we do here so the goal would be to um, 
get our sands of time in our first hand. We did not. So, I'm trying to think how do I, this is how we're going to play this. And that puts us in calm so we can switch to wrath uh, and deal a ton more damage. Because this one's also retained. So I think we'll retain these two going to wrath next turn. So we'll defend this one. Only problem is we're going to be weak, which kind of stinks. And since that's the case, we'll actually do that. It's not going to end up mattering too much because Sands of Time this turn kills it. Another Sands of Time? Make this like a, uh, uh, a retained deck? I like that. We'll try it. I'm not sure exactly how to play this character. So we got one of them in our first turn. Pretty good. So I'm going to kill this one. Uh, do we go? Yes. Do it like that. Let's see what we get here. Seven block. Six blocks on the inside. Let's do that. And put the inside in the deck. Which would be good later. So the goal is to keep Sands of Time to uh, really destroy someone. So like, yeah, 52 damage for three. Yeah. Then we're gonna Miracle do 30. So this is why this character is so very good. All right, so the goal is gonna be, we want to see if we can get, and we didn't, uh, well, actually, we can, we can kill him now with this. The goal was to get to calm, but we didn't need it. Uh, another new potion, the duplicate potion. Uh, this turn, the next the next card he plays, played twice. Yes, next card is played twice. So scry your draw pile. We're not doing scry, uh, but Omni Science. Evaluate. Seems to be pretty good. Six blocks and shuffle an insight. And just lucky scry one. Uh, Gain two block and deal three damage. By the way, scries, look at the top X cards of your draw pile. You may discard any of them. I think I'm going to go evaluate. A little bit of extra draw. Help us switch between stances a little better. Okay. And then let's go ahead and upgrade our other stance of time. Because I think these stay whatever they are the whole fight. All right. So let's go ahead and get, some draw get that inside in the deck. Uh, defend, and we will get one strike on him. Holding the Sands of Time is what we want. We're just gonna double defend. And just wait. Okay. So this is what we wanted. Eruption. Miracle. Kill. Yeah. Alright, so... Consecrate. Do five damage to all enemies. Actually, pretty good. There's not a lot of AoE in this character. Just lucky. Scry one. Gain two block. Seen that one? And protect is retain. Uh, gain 13 block for two. I think we'll go with the AoE. I think that'll help us more in the long run. Alright, so they're coming right out of the gate. Go ahead and consecrate. Do that. And then let's go ahead and enter Vigilance. I should have played Vigilance and then just did Strike, but it's fine. Not too worried about it. Now this one's not that great. Um, can't kill him, but should be fine. We're, we're frail, so we are going to take a little bit of damage, but we're fine. So we could use more triggers of wrath, honestly. So we'll do that. And then we will go ahead and kill this one. And Sands of Time, 52 damage. Nice. Tantrum. We already seen that one. Bowling Bash deals standard damage for each enemy in combat. Another halt. I don't think we need another one. I think we'll continue. I don't think we're going to smith again. Upgraded Insight does three, I think. Yeah. A little bit of extra draw is always good. Gonna have me a sip of coffee. Oh man, still a little early for a little earlier than I'm normally recording. 
So we didn't get any of our pieces really in our opening hand, which is not good. So we will enter calm and get some draw ready. Yeah, we wanted to knock him down, but not gonna be able to, not even at all. Consecrate, do this. Well, try to think. We actually can. Go to double, carve reality, smite him. And then we will stay in this form. Yes, we could deal a little bit more damage. I think I'd rather hold on to the miracle. All right, Sands of Time needs to stay. I would like to change stances. Can I do that though? Or do I really care? I don't think I really care to take 18 damage. Let's do it. Because hopefully we'll draw Vigilant this turn, which we, we did. Let's get out of that one and defend and keep holding up our Sands of Time. Play a little, a little safely. Um, trying to decide how I want to do this. And then, get more block. Okay. Because I don't think we, yeah, we can't take him out this turn. Nor would I really want to. Okay. We're really saving up for a really big wrath turn just to really see if we can knock him out. And of course we get the freaking uh, doubt in our hand. Consecrate. Insight. Okay. So yeah, this is the turn we really want to really want to shine here. So do that. Miracle. Get four energy. Sands of time. Sands of time. Smite. Uh, Lewis strike. So we've about finished him off in one turn. And that was kind of the goal with everything we were doing. Okay. So defend. 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 Hopefully we'll get our vigilance for next turn. Yep, there it is. Because I really didn't have a good way to defend yet. All right, and sands of time are ready to go again. Let's finish this off. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Didn't make a difference. I thought I had both sands of time in my hand. Whoops. All right, so we got three. Brilliant, transform your hand into miracle. Uh, Battle helmet, the first card you draw each turn has its cost reduced by one for the turn. And Ragnarok, deal five damage to, to a random enemy five times. That'd be good with our double damage because if it's doubled, it'd be 50 damage for three. Hmm. Honestly, I think we have a little energy. Like, I think we'd rather have Battle Helm. We'll take that for now. Okay, and this is another. I think we'll go Cursed Key. But this is a new relic. Uh, Holy Water. Replace Pure Water, which is our starting uh, relic. At the start of each combat, add three Miracles to your hand. So pretty much it gives you two more Miracles to play with. But I think I'd rather have just the generic energy every turn. Okay, I think we want to hit this shop with 500 gold to take out the uh, doubt. Alright, 10 damage right out the gate. I really don't want to do a eruption this turn. So we will play it cool. As much as it would like improve our sands of time. There's just no really like real reason to. Throw the inside in there. Gonna take a little bit more. Oh no, we're not taking damage. Alright. Battle helm. Let's go ahead. Well, I still think we'll wait. Get him down to one cost. Uh let's go ahead and draw. Yeah, let's go into calm. And then that's what we wanted. Ah, oh, we still didn't get it. Really now just waiting for uh 
our uh, eruption. We need some more triggers of uh, wrath in our deck. Cause yeah, we're not really, not really getting it yet. Good golly. Like our stands of time are zero now, but I don't really want to drop them out. I think we can kill them once we get, get into wrath. There it is. Boom, boom. Yep. Kind of what I was expecting. Um, I like our potions. Five additional damage. All right, so we have Wreath of Flames. Your next attack deals five additional damage. Protect, which we've seen. Retain, gain 13 block for two. And then Worship. This has some new keywords. Gain five mantra. Uh, when you obtain 10 of it, uh, you enter a divinity. And divinity, upon entering the stance, gain three energies. Attack, deal triple damage. Exit the stance if you start your next turn. I like it. Good, good damage card. Uh, I don't want the apparitions. I don't think we really need it. Um, could be good when you go for like to block from triple damage, but don't think it's necessary. Do all that damage. Um, that's eight block. That's four, so we can defend ourselves. And then we will do worship to gain that five mantra. Because we could do triple damage and be real good about it. Okay. So, ooh. Ooh, they are doing a lot of damage this turn. And we don't have a good way to prevent it. Can I knock one of them down? I, uh, maybe. I cannot. So, we're just going to defend up. Because I guess I could change to Wrath, but I'm going to take a lot more damage if I do. So, is it 10, 22... 27 damage. So we're not taking, like, some unbelievable. I think we'll also use our Miracle and get our Battle Helm out. Yeah, we took a little bit, but... Should be fine. Can I knock someone out now? Be hard to. Carve Reality. Should have Eruption first. Alright, yeah, deal 30 damage, so it's close. But we didn't knock him down, and this is 52, so I think. Oh, it's 26 on you. Crap. So close. One damage short. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Go on, hit me. Yeah. But you're. you're done. And. I think you're also done. And yes. So we'll take eight more. So I'm glad we kept our regen potion. Bam. So same times is a little slower. So we maybe should grab another healing card. Oh, actually, exit your stance. That could be good. Let's concentrate though. I think we'll take that. All right, let's first of all remove this doubt. Our uh, weakness is hurting us. All right, wallop. Uh, three energy, deal 12 damage. Gain block equal to the unblocked damage. Pretty good. Uh, four, we already seen that four damage out of smite. Uh, six block. At the previous card you played with skill, draw two cards. Third eye. Uh, seven block, scry three. And fasting, gain two artifact. Then we have a new relic down here. Horn cleft at the start of your second turn, gain 12 block. Kind of like that. I think we will do this little block on second turn. And then I'm really liking Carve Reality. I think that's what we will take. Wallop could be good. But um, I don't want to add another three drop card to my deck. So I think we will go with that. We'll save 200 gold. Uh, remove a card. Let's remove a basic strike. Alright. Yeah, okay. So we made the right decision with the Consecrates. Um, the question is, do I eruption? Because if so, I should have done it earlier. Yeah. 
Would have made sense, but it's fine. I'm hoping we can just change stances before it matters too much. We, we, we will use our prior stance to change potion. Because if not, it's going to be a bad day. Oh, it put us into wrath again. It's kind of a, in my opinion, a, a dumb way to do that, but. What? Oh, I drank the wrong potion. I drank the duplicate. Interesting. Intercom. So we're taking much less damage. Should have done the strike first. Making all the bad plays, but it's fine. Sands of time are ticking down. So, we're good. We're good. All right. And we have two battle hymns now, so... Should be... All right. Five damage to all enemies. And hold these sands of time. Because one of them is about to be zero. And we can start using it. Uh, hum, hum, hum. I think we'll just drop you out. We're going to keep this one to get it to zero. You, I don't have a really good idea of what to do with you. Because the problem is we, we gained, grabbed all our defense on the wrong turn. Oh, man. Hello, boy. Why, why you do such a thing? Okay, we will use this one. Knock that boy out. Inside up. Of course we get... A lot of the wrong stuff on this turn. Are we dead? 36. Yeah. We are... Soup's dead, I think. Because this is at the beginning of our turn. Yeah, at the beginning... Uh, no, we're going to heal HP at the end of each turn. So that would give us 5. It's onto our 4s. 9. I think we'll still be right at dead. I could be wrong. We'll take it, but I think... We have died. Oh, no, we didn't die. That's surprising. Okay, but we would have been right at dead. So how I math wrong. Okay, so yeah, let's kill him now. We didn't go hard enough on the Gremlin Leader. We got the boot. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase to five. Not going to happen a lot. Um, if you're calm, draw, draw three cards. Otherwise, intercom. It's pretty good. Gives us another stance switch. Exit your stance. Eh. Alright, produce custom here after the turn. I think we'll go inner peace. I think calm is really good, in my opinion. So switching back and forth could help a lot. I don't want to smith. I want to rest. <laughs> right before this next fight. Alright. Defend. Vigilance. And then we'll strike this boy. Okay. Let's go carve reality on him. We'll smite him. Make it easier for us to block. Just by a little bit. Um, yeah, we can't play anything else. So battle him is good. Consecrate, consecrate. Do I want to play anything else? Well, I'm not defended yet, so I definitely do. Halt. Strike. And I think that's all we're going to do. I could play a Sand of Time for 26. No. Not ready yet. Add the smite to the hand. Boom. Smite him. Could do another one of those. But we need a block also. No, we need to kill him this turn. If we can. We are very we were very close. Could I It's a weird one here. Even closer, but still no No dice. We'll be down to low HP again. Uh um ba dum bum bum. We need some more wrath triggers now. 
Uh, seven damage for each combat. No. no. Not what we want. Got a curse, but we did good Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, get one energy and draw a card. It's pretty good. It's a good one. Oh, man. I really don't want to lose all my gold, but I think if we don't, we will die. Which sucks. We still may die, though. Especially with pain. Ugh. Okay. We might be dead right here. Because we need to... Oh, yeah. It's never... You play a card. Yeah, we be toast. Like, nothing we can do. All right. That's going to do it. There's our first try as the Watcher. 300. Right under what we need to unlock. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.